Jeff, today we're finally doing the How to Evict a Tenant in Surrey, BC video. Are you ready? Make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to be sharing another crazy story about a landlord and a tenant. Now, Jeff, please continue with our five-step guide on how to evict a tenant in Surrey, BC. Well, okay. Well, let's get right into it. Evicting a tenant who has stopped paying rent in Surrey, British Columbia can be a very complex process. It's important to understand and follow the legal steps involved in order to avoid any potential legal issues or disputes. Why is knowing this important? Well, when you're selling your property, the completion date will most likely already be set in stone. So if the tenant files a dispute, this can actually cause your closing to be disrupted. And this can cause more legal problems for you as a seller. So now, step one, serve a notice to end tenancy. The first step in the eviction process is to serve the tenant with a notice to end tenancy. This notice must be in writing and must specify the reason for the eviction, such as non-payment of rent. The length of the notice required to depends on the length of time the tenant has lived in the rental unit as well, and the reason for the eviction. For example, if the tenant has lived in the unit for less than a year and has not paid the rent, the landlord must give the tenant at least 10 day notice to end tenancy. Now Rick, there's different types of notices. For example, there's a 10 day notice uh, to end tenancy for unpaid rent or utilities. There's a one month notice to end tenancy, a two month notice to end tenancy, a four month notice, a 12 month notice as well. We'll get into that in some other video. Step two. File an application for dispute resolution. If the tenant does not leave by the specific, specified date in the notice to end tenancy, the landlord can file an application for dispute resolution with the residential tenancy branch. This application must be filed within 90 days of the date the tenancy was supposed to end. The residential tenancy branch will schedule a hearing and notify both the landlord and the tenant of the date, time, and location of the hearing. Step three, attending the hearing. At the hearing, the landlord and the tenant will have the opportunity to present their case to a dispute resolution officer. The landlord need to provide evidence to support their claim that the tenant has not paid rent and that the eviction is justified. The tenant will have the opportunity to present any defenses or counterclaims they may have as well. So there's a lot of things here, Rick. I say it every episode. You can get yourself a free JC Holmes hoodie and it's easy. All you have to do is like any one of our videos and write the words I have subscribed in the comment section of any one of our videos after subscribing to the BC Real Estate Podcast channel. And I will send you out an absolutely, absolutely free JC Holmes hoodie, the new version. And don't forget to give us a call if you're planning on moving to and or around in the Fraser Valley or greater Vancouver area, anywhere in beautiful British Columbia. We absolutely love helping you guys out if you're planning on moving here. So get a hold of us by email, phone number, whichever way you like, and we will help you out because we absolutely love helping you guys out. All right, now back into the video, Jeff. I believe it's step number four, right? Obtaining an order of possession, is that right? Step four. Let's get right into step four here. Um, yes, you're right. Obtain an order for possession. If the dispute resolution officer finds in favor of the landlord, they will issue an order for possession. This order requires a tenant to vacate the rental unit property by a certain date. Very simple as that. It's, it's, it's pretty sounds standard. pretty standard, right? Mm -hmm. We'll jump more into that. Step five, enforce the order. Now it sounds pretty easy, but no, it's very important. Enforce the order. If the tenant does not vacate the rental unit by the specified date uh, of the order of possession, the landlord can file an application to have the order enforced by the residential tenancy branch. So the RTB will send a bailiff to the rental unit to physically remove the tenant and their belongings from the property. Now it's important to note that the eviction process can take several weeks, months, 
took a while to complete. It's also important to understand that the landlord cannot take matters into their own hands and try to evict the tenant themselves. Landlords who try to evict the tenant illegally, such as changing the locks or shutting off all the utilities, can face actually major legal consequences. Now, speaking of legal consequences, Jeff, now I'm finally that story I was going to share with you all. <laughs> all right. I recently heard this crazy story about a landlord allegedly, allegedly hiring some people to come beat the tenant up for not paying rent. Okay. And it turns out that these people came to the house and beat the shit out of two guys that were in the house. <laughs> But it turns out the actual tenant was not at home at the time and his two friends got beat up and had no idea it was coming. Can you imagine opening the door to your buddy's basement and then just having some dudes come in and pound your face in? Now having shared that crazy story, you wanna end this episode off there, Jeff, with the final conclusion? And it's funny how you're talking about beating up people and all that kind of stuff while wearing an NWO uh, shirt here. Um, <laughs> lovely shirt, by the way. Thank you. But <clears throat> in conclusion, evicting a tenant who has stopped paying rent, and well, in Surrey, we're talking about, Specifically, but yeah. it's almost anywhere in British Columbia, really, right? Requires following the legal steps that we just talked about. It's important to understand and follow these steps to avoid any potential legal issues or disputes. Now, Rick, there's an ugly side to this as well, even more ugly than we just talked about. It, it, it can get actually very ugly. And that is what happens if the tenant refuses to leave and just doesn't give a What do you do then? Well, that's for another episode. Basically, you called them a squatter. But we'll talk about that later. That was earlier. Yes, I did. This is a common issue that's been happening, obviously, for a long time, but especially recently, right? I mean, I've, I've just heard way more stories about recently about bad tenants, you could say, right? I mean, I, I'm sure you've came well, across I'm, that. I'm right? gonna re rephrase that Sorry. and say, say bad tenants as, as unfortunate situations with tenants and landlords that require a dispute resolution. That's the political side of answering it that way. Yeah. But yeah, bad tenants. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And professional tenants, some people just knowing how to take advantage of the system, right? Super common, especially in Surrey. You know, there's a lot of crazy stories that we might actually share with you guys. I'm not on sharing the nothing. Second, I will on the second part of this episode, all right? All right, so that sums up our episode. Episode number 50. Yes, that's right. I said 5050, five, 50, episode 50. We've gotten through 50 episodes. That's right. I survived 50 episodes. Survived 50 episodes, and so have you guys. So props to you guys. We should have cut a cake for this episode. <laughs> episode 50, that sums it up, all right? How to evict a tenant in Surrey, British Columbia. But like, like you said earlier, right? This could be... Uh, and, and, and there, there, there's, and, and, and we're going to end off on this. And so there's... We gave a very Coles Note version. There's a lot of steps, a lot of things you need to consider. It's not just as simple as you fill this form, you hand it. There's certain procedures of even how to fill the form, right? So this is just a Coles Note version. There's ways how to fill the form, how it needs to be delivered. All these steps really need to be uh, considered and how Rick mentioned just not too long ago professional tenants and we're not trying to say tenants are bad in any which way this video is informational it's educational it's making sure that you're doing right by yourself and your tenant to make sure you do the process properly so yes there can be more in depth about this and if you need more information Reach out. It's our, Beanie, by the way. Thank you, thank you. JC Holmes Beanie, you might get one too, all right? If you keep watching our videos, we might be giving away very soon. Once again, we. I love, I love the we. It's coming. Can we end this video? <laughs> all right, guys. Sums up episode 50, British Columbia Real Estate Podcast. We'll see you guys next week for another amazing episode.